بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ وی ول کور اے نیو ٹاپک وچ از ٹیبیا دا ٹیبیا از دا لارج ویٹ بیئرنگ میڈیل بون اف دا لیگ سی ہیئر ان دس ڈائگرام ٹیبیا از دا میڈیل بون اف دا لیگ اینڈ فیبولا از دا لیٹرل بون اف دا لیگ دا ٹیبیا آرٹیکولیٹس وتھ دا کونڈائلز اف دا فیمر اینڈ دا ہیڈ اف دا فیبولا ابو اینڈ وتھ دا ٹیلس اینڈ دا ڈسٹل اینڈ اف دا فیبولا بلو سو اٹ ہیز ٹو اٹیچمنٹس ابو اٹیچمنٹ اینڈ بلو اٹیچمنٹ ابو اٹ آرٹیکولیٹس وتھ دا کونڈائلز اف دا فیمر اینڈ دا ہیڈ اف دا فیبولا and below it articulates with the talus bone which is one of the bone of the foot and the distal end of the fibula see in this diagram the upper end of the tibia is articulating with the head of the fibula and the lower end of the tibia is articulating with the lower end of the fibula The tibia has the expanded upper end, a smaller lower end and a shift. You can see in this diagram the tibia has upper end which is expanded. Then there is a shift. Then there is a lower end which is smaller than the upper end. The lateral and the medial condyles of the tibia which are also called as the medial and the lateral tibial plateaus are present at the upper end. See in this diagram. This is medial tibial plateau and this is lateral tibial plateau. Okay which is also called as medial condyle of the tibia and lateral condyle of the tibia. These condyles articulate with the medial and the lateral condyles of the femur respectively and with the intervening lateral and the medial medial. and sky now we have discussed the upper end of the tibia which have two condyles this is medial condyle and this is lateral condyle in between the two condyles there is intercondylar area which are called as anterior intercondylar area from the anterior side and posterior intercondylar area from the posterior side okay intercondylar means in between the condyles these areas are in between the medial and the lateral condyles of the tibia and in between these two intercondylar areas there is one eminence which is called as intercondylar eminence so this intercondylar eminence is present in between the anterior intercondylar area and the posterior intercondylar area now there is one tubercle on the anterior surface of the lateral condyle of the tibia this tubercle is called as gerdes tubercle see here this is gerdes tubercle which is also called as anterior lateral tibial tubercle this is present on the anterior lateral aspect of the lateral tibial condyle and it is inferior to the articular surface see here it is inferior to the articular surface it gives attachment to the dense thickening of the fascia of the thigh so that the knee joint will be more stable because the dense thickening of the fascia is attached to this gerdes tubercle the lateral condyle possess a small cir circular articular facet for the head of the fibula on its lateral aspect see here below the gerdes tubercle there is a small facet which is called as articular facet for the head of the fibula okay these are the two important structures which are present on the lateral side okay? okay this is lateral condyle below the articular surface which articulate with the lateral condyle of the femur there is gerdes tubercle and below the gerdes tubercle there is articular facet for the head of the fibula now we will discuss the shaft the shaft of the tibia is triangular in cross section okay it is triangular in cross section it presents three borders and three surfaces okay this is anterior part of the tibia and this is the posterior part of the tibia they have shown here anterior border see here this is sharp anterior border and there is sharp medial border the anterior and the medial borders are very sharp and there is medial surface in between the anterior border and the medial border then there will be lateral or the interosseous border this lateral or the interosseous border is called as interosseous border because it attaches with the interosseous membrane and it is the lateral border because the fibula is over the lateral side and there will be interosseous membrane in between the tibia and the fibula okay so how many borders we have discussed there is anterior border there is medial border on the medial side and there is interosseous border on the lateral side so there are 
three surfaces. One is the medial surface, which is in between the anterior and the medial border. There is one lateral surface, which is in between the anterior border and the interosseous border. And there will be one posterior surface, okay, which will be in between the medial and the lateral borders. So there are three surfaces and three borders. Anterior surface, okay, anterior medial surface, lateral surface, and posterior surface. And borders are anterior border, medial border, and lateral border, which is also called as interosseous border. The anterior border is very, very prominent. See here, it is very prominent and it forms the shin. Okay, it forms the shin. Now we will discuss that there is a tibial tuberosity at the upper end of the shaft of the tibia. The tibial tuberosity of the tibia is at the junction of the anterior border with the upper end of the tibia and it receives the attachment of the ligamentum patelli. Remember this thing, this tibial tuberosity gives attachment to the ligamentum patelli. Okay, so in this slide we have discussed that how many borders of tibia are there, how many borders surfaces of tibia are there and there is a tibial tuberosity at the upper end of the shaft of the tibia which gives attachment to the ligamentum patelli. Now the anterior border become rounded below where it is continuous with the medial malleolus. See here it is very obvious in this diagram that the anterior border becomes rounded at the lower end and it is continued as the medial malleolus over the medial side. Okay, The lateral border which is also called as interosseous border give attachment to the interosseous membrane and you can see here on the posterior surface of the tibia that there is an oblique line. This line is called as soleal line because it gives attachment to the soleus muscle okay which is the muscle of the posterior compartment of the leg so in this time in this slide we have discussed that the anterior border will be continued as the medial malleolus okay here there is tibial tuberosity which will give attachment to the ligamentum patelli and there is soleal line on the posterior surface which will give attachment to the soleus muscle now the lower end of the tibia. So you see here lower end of the tibia is slightly expanded. This is the anterior surface of the lower end of the tibia and this is the posterior surface of the lower end of the tibia. The lower end of the tibia is slightly expanded and it shows a saddle shaped articular surface for the talus. See here this is saddle shaped articular surface for the talus on its inferior surface. So inferior articular surface will give attachment to the talus bone. The lower end is prolonged downwards medially to form the large medial malleolus. See here this is medial malleolus. The lateral surface of the medial malleolus give attachment to the talus bone. See here I am uh, showing with the cursor that this is the medial this is the lateral surface of the medial malleolus which will also give attachment to the talus bone. The lower end of the tibia shows a wide rough depression on its lateral surface. See here this is the lateral surface where it shows the articulation with the fibula. Okay, so in this diagram we have seen the lower end of the tibia which is expanded and it shows the medial malleolus on the medial side. On the lateral side we have a depression for the articulation with the lower end of the fibula and on the inferior articular surface we have articulation with the talus bone. So here there will be talus bone which is the bone of the foot. See in this diagram they have shown many muscles which are attached here on the uh, anterior surface of the tibia. Okay, here the muscles which are attached are sartorius muscle, gracilis muscle and semitendinosus muscle. Do you remember these three muscles which I have discussed in my previous lecture that these are the three muscles which are attached on the anterior surface of the tibia. These muscles form the pes and serinus. Sartorius is a muscle from the anterior compartment. Gracilis is a muscle from the medial compartment and semitendinosus is a muscle from the posterior compartment of the thigh. These three thigh muscles they will come here and insert over the anterior surface of the tibia to form the pes and serinus. Okay. Then we have another muscles which are tibialis anterior muscle which is the muscle of the anterior compartment of the leg. Okay. Which is attached here over the anterior uh, border and the uh, lateral surface of the tibia. So these are some of the muscle attachments which are shown here.
आई होप दैट यू हैव अंडरस्टैंड टीबिया बोन